Uh, welcome to the channel. This is Agatha All Along, uh, episode 8 review. Uh, they dropped two episodes tonight because it's uh, Halloween, and they're doing the last two episodes. So, um, yeah, what did I think of it? I don't know. I, I don't like the witchcraft stuff. I never have. It doesn't matter if it's Doctor Strange or any of the other ones. Because to me, they can just write anything to get themselves out of a hole, and the scripts are not particularly good. But, oh well. Um, it was okay. That a weaker episode than last week's, episode 7. Uh, it does kind of wrap up somewhat the series, but then why do they have episode 9? Well, episode 9 is also a wrap-up of the series, so... Don't know if that makes much sense, but um, yeah, so we're down to Agatha, uh, Gay Witch Billy, and Black Witch. That's it. Oh, and Rio, who is death. And you just in this episode, you just see more of that. Yes, in fact, she is the embodiment of death, which has been something in the comics that death is actually a character. And I think at one point Thanos was interested they part of his plot line in the comics was that he was trying to impress death and that's why he was doing the snap to get rid of all these people he was going to kill all these people just to please death and it's like okay anyways back to the show um you do see a sort of a cameo by the asian which um but you see her Peering in her normal clothes and seeing her body on the that was in the seventies clothes on the ground and Rio shows up to lead her to the I guess afterlife and they're gone. Why they did that, I don't know. Um, I guess just to show what Rio does, she um, guides people to the afterlife, doesn't attack them or drag them off or whatever, just kind of. Well, let's go. <laughs> so, okay. Um, and then you see... I wish I knew what her character's name was. I just keep calling her the Black Witch. But um, um, her and Billy start off together, and then they end up on the road with Agatha. And Agatha had made makes a deal with Rio that Rio will leave her alone if she delivers Billy to her because Rio says that he's an abomination, that he shouldn't exist, and yada, yada, yada. Don't know why. Just, that's what they say. Again, everything's magical, so everything, you can write anything you want to. But they trip over their own boots, which signifies, signifies I guess, they're at the start of the road. Um... Billy steps into his boots, and they end up in a morgue in body bags. So they go into the into the morgue, and they don't know what or how, because there's nothing there other than the benches and the bags, um, how they're supposed to, or what their trial's going to be. But um, the uh, Black Witch determines that uh, somehow... That Agatha was the one that puts the binding spell on her. That why she hasn't got her powers. So she does an unbinding spell, gets her powers back, disappears, gone. Okay, bye. And then Billy and Agatha are left. Um, Agatha starts getting Billy to hunt for his brother. Billy figures out that there's a child someplace that is going to die just so his brother can come, and he doesn't like that. So poof, he's gone leaving Agatha, and Agatha, clock's ticking, there's nothing for her to do, except for she opens up her locket, and there's a seed from a dandelion in it, under the Billy's, her kid's hair, so, uh, there was a crack in the floor when Billy left, and she plants the dandelion, and it grows, and, uh, I guess that's the end of it because she gets to leave the underground and comes up in her backyard where Rio is 
and again they're talking about their deal and that Ag Agatha didn't really fall through or follow through and anyways um, Rio attacks Agatha Billy shows up to save her um, zaps Agatha to heal her again doesn't make a lot of sense but they do that and um, after a very short fight they determine well they can't beat Rio so one of us has to give ourselves up and uh, Agatha starts off oh, it's going to be Billy you know bye but Billy talks to her head and convinced and changes her mind and she goes back and goes and kisses Rio which is the kiss of death because Agatha dies and you see her body floating out and going into the ground and decomposing and a bunch of flowers spouting out so in theory that's kind of the end could you could consider that the end of the episode the end of the series but it's not anyways Billy goes home Starts looking around his room, he goes back up to his room, looks around his room, and he's seeing all these items from uh, the trial, the road. And then he suddenly realizes that maybe there was no road and that he created the road. And that's it. That's the end of the episode. So, it's kind of... Eight, uh, eight could have been the end, but it wasn't, so they're going to go off to do nine and I don't know episode episode eight again. I don't like all the witchcraft stuff. Never have. It's not very interesting to me. The writing isn't particularly great. Uh, again, the, the dark. Everything's dark. You know, somebody turn a flashlight on. Um, they want to make I guess everything to be atmospheric, so everything shot very very dark. And then the other thing is uh, the clothes that that uh, especially Rio wears are, you know, you can tell that some costume designer for the studio goes crazy doing all this stuff. And it's like, why? Why does it need to be like that? Well, I guess maybe the comics show her in various strange outfits. So let's, let's do that. But she keeps changing. And it's like, why would you change from one to another? I don't know more questions than there are answers. But anyways, that is the end of the episode.